During the winter, the pace in the garden is at its slowest, but it's an excellent time to take care of many of those chores we don't have time to do during the spring and summer when we're so busy. A good example of this is having your soil tested. Growing flowers, vegetables, or even lawns successfully begins with the soil. It's important to know exactly what's in it. Understanding its composition can help you determine whether or not you need to make any changes. It's actually very simple to do, but there are a few things you'll want to know. First, take several small samples from various places in the area you're considering. These samples should be taken at a depth of about four inches, and a cup or so from each one is about right. Just collect it in a bucket. Now the soil should be moist, but not full of water. Now it's ready to be sent off for analysis. But what exactly can these test results tell you? Well, they can indicate the soil pH. You can know whether the soil is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. It can also tell you the amount of minerals and the levels of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the most essential elements for plants. And many reports will make recommendations on the amounts and blends of fertilizers to be applied. A soil test may not tell you everything you need to know about your soil, even though all the nutrients may be in place. You see, texture is also important. That's why I'm always working in as much humus as I can. You see, I like my soil rich and loose. Government agencies and labs offer soil testing, but spring is their busiest time, so make sure you get your samples in early. From the garden, I'm Alan Smith. Now, if you'd like more information on this topic or other information, just check out my website, pallensmith.com.